Let's take a look at some more things you can do with your reports in Qualtrics. A good way to start your report is by creating a new report so you can save your changes in that new report. So click where it says report and choose create new report and then give your report a name. And click create. So if I want to modify any of the charts, again, I just need to click on the chart and it will open up my editing options to the right. As I scroll down, you can switch different visualizations by choosing from the list here. I could change this, what is your status, into a pie chart, for example. And as I scroll down, I have other options to choose what legend to show, what color palette to use, how I want the pie to look, um, etc., etc. One of the great things you can do with charts is what's called a breakout. So I have a question asking what status someone is, whether they're staff, faculty, or student. And I also ask what everyone's preference is for learning. So what I can do is create a breakout where I can look at how those three different groups, faculty, staff, and student, answered this question. To do that, I will click to edit the question. And at the top, I will choose breakout by and I will choose that question I want to break it out by, the status of faculty, staff, or student. Once I do that, I'll see my chart is divided into three sections. And as I scroll down, I can change the options here to make this a little easier to read. I can stack the bars once I have a breakout. And if I want to, I can actually change the way this is, the x and y axis is. Um, and I might flip them over so they are across like this. So these are really great ways to break out your data and look at it in different ways. One of the other ways you can break out your da data is by using a filter. So at the top, if I want to only look at the data for maybe one of these groups, the staff, the faculty, or the students, I can filter the entire report. And do that at the top by clicking on Add a Filter. And there's a lot of different ways you can filter. We'll focus on filtering by this question, what is your status? Once I click that, I just need to choose which answers I want using the options up at the top. And I'll say the which status is, and I'm going to choose staff. Now all of my questions have been filtered, so it only shows the staff responses. So as I scroll down through, I see my charts look a little bit different now. My numbers are a little different as they only reflect one group's answers. So using breakouts and filters, you can really work with your data and see exactly what you want to see. Now, one of the great ways to help save what you've done when you've filtered out or broken out is by creating different reports for the different types of ways to look at your data. And you can do that under clicking on default report and say create a new port and then you can give them each a different name so you can keep that visualizations for the different groups separate.